Okay, so first of all, let's get over the fact that I sound like a man. Got that winter flu situation going on. And also my hair. As you can see, I 100% did wake up like this, but I did put foundation on, so... I woke up like this, and then I put foundation on, but that's just to save time. The hair, however, it's all me, baby. So the first product that I'm going to be testing out today, which is the one that I'm most excited about, is their contour kit. This is just called the Master Contour Pat, and I believe they're all creams. If I can get into it. Wow. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that, but you've got a kind of, a very odd sort of sheeny shade. That one's kind of a dud to me. Um, then you've got a really pale colour, you've got a yellow tone, a slightly more almost like bronzer colour, another bronzery colour, and then you've got three contours. Um, I'm probably going to go in for the cooler tones, just my usual shades, and just try and create some sort of magic on my face. So first of all, I'm going to go in with this yellow cream. I'm curious to see how oily they are. They don't seem to have much colour payoff, but yeah, this could work. Maybe that'll be like a blessing. I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes, down my nose a little bit, above my brow. It's not really coming out much, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not like crazy pigmented. But I actually quite like that because I don't look great with the full-blown Kim, uh, Kim K Kardashian contouring situation. Okay, a little bit over the lip. And I'm also going to quickly go on my jawline as well. And then I'm going to go straight in with contour using the same brush. Just realised I only have one brush, so I'm going to have to use my foundation brush to kind of pack all this on. So I've just found this little clean brush from Claire's, and I think I'm going to go in with like the medium shade. And see if we can contour with that. Yeah, as you can see, it's not the most pigmented contour in the world, but again, that's probably a good thing because half the time you can go in too strong with the contour and it just don't look good. I think I'm going to go in with maybe this shade. It's a bit more bronzy and I'm going to go slightly above that. I'm going to go underneath my nose with that same brush, just with whatever's left. Oh, that's making me want to sneeze. While I'm here, just for the sake of the video, I never normally do this. I think I'm going to try, emphasis on try and contour my nose. I'm just going to get a mirror out quickly. This is just my Too Faced chocolate bronzer. And I'm going to take this cool one, maybe a touch of the warm one. I never do this, so I have no idea how this will turn out. So I'm going to be beauty blending everything in today. This is just a normal beauty blender. I've tried the Primark ones, not the biggest fan. If you haven't seen my last video, be sure to check that one out because I've tried a lot more makeup in that one. So it's taking a sweet time to blend in. But I think that might be for the fact that I did like full face contour. If you put it on your skin and then blend it out straight away, it would probably work just fine. The colour's pretty good to be fair. I mean, normally when you buy like a more affordable contour palette, the colours are really, really orange. This is actually pretty natural, which you don't tend to find in contour cream palettes in general. So I'm just going to blend this down. I hope I'm doing this right. So that is the contour on. I don't think it made like, the most intense difference, but it has done a little bit of sculpting. It's actually pretty natural, to be honest. So I'm now just setting everything in place using the Daniel Sandler Invisible Veil Powder. I'm just putting this over anywhere that I put the highlighting powder and then we'll set the contour in place with the powder contour. The brush I'm using for this, I know you guys ask quite often, is the Lux Powder Finish. So I don't know about you guys, but I can see quite a difference now that I've powdered half my face. I'm looking a lot more sculpted than I was before, so that's a big thumbs up. Next, I'm just going in with my usual, it's Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, and I'm going to put that over the top. We'll see how the powder sits on top of the cream. Yeah, all blending in pretty nicely. Feeling pretty good about this, actually. It's set like a nice base for my contour. Obviously, it's not going to be the most amazing ever, but for the money, I don't think I've even said the price, it's £6. 
I think it's pretty nice from what I can tell. Okay, let's attempt to contour this nose just with the powder. I can never actually get a steady enough hand. This could be a disaster. Did I do that right or am I looking muddy? I'm not sure, so I'm gonna just blend everything in a little bit by just warming my entire face up. Maybe nose contouring wasn't a good idea. It's fine, we'll deal with it. Just gonna add a little bit of blusher. I'm pretty much just using the same products that I use in my everyday makeup, so if you haven't seen that video, then I'll leave a link to it down below. Just gonna go in with my Anastasia Glow Kit. A little bit on there. And then just gonna blend in a little bit of the chocolate powder just on my lids, just to warm them up a little bit. So next I'm going to go in with the Primark Iconic Mascara. This one says intense black lengthening and full volume and it's just in silver packaging. Big, big fan of that brush actually. That looks like a nice brush. I'll do obviously close ups and stuff like that, but I'm a big fan. Doesn't smell of anything either. Don't know why that makes a difference, but just a little FYI. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Very black. It's not thickening as such, but I quite like the formula of that, and this is two quid. Sunshine, where did you go? You know what? I'm kind of feeling that. It's not as thick as I normally like it, but it's a bit more fluttery. And I'm kind of a fan. Can you see the difference there? I always end up giving you guys the finger. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is very lengthening. I have very long lashes on the bottom anyway, but normally they don't catch my lashes straight away. I'm gonna leave it like that today. Got it on the bloody eyelid, didn't I? Christ. This mascara is kind of great. Like, really great. I'm a massive fan of that. A little bit different than what I normally go for. Like I said, it's not as thickening, but it's a bit more fluttery. Big fan of this, and it's what, two quid? Definitely check that one out. I know I wasn't the biggest fan of the last mascara that I tried from Primark. This one I think is like 50p extra or something. Get this one. If you're on a budget, or even if you're not, just give it a go because it's very, very good. Next, my chickadees, we are going to go on to brows. This is the fixing gel and it's in the shade, I think it says on the packet, it's in the shade dark brown. This was a pound, I believe, yeah, one pound. I'm fully aware that I'm probably going to be filling in my brows afterwards, but I thought I would give this a go anyway because a quid for a tinted brow gel is actually really, really good. So it's just a standard brush, it's quite thick, but I got some big old brows on my face, so that doesn't bother me. This is good, it doesn't pack on too much colour, which if you only want to kind of fill them in a little bit, like I do, then that's really, really good. Maybe you guys can see that, but it just kind of gets rid of all the like foundation and concealer that was on my brows before. That's the one done, that's the one without anything on. It kind of seems quite almost waxy as well, so it feels like it'll hold everything in place. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Really, really happy with that. I think it's a really, really nice colour, not too intense. Some of you guys may not agree. But yeah, I think it's a really good brow gel. And they do do a bunch of different shades as well, so definitely give that one a go if you're after an affordable brow gel. And now I'm just gonna fill them in even more because I'm crazy. Pomade in, and I can actually feel that these have stiffened on my face. That's a good thing for me. I kind of like it when I can feel that my brows are just 100% staying in place. If you don't like it, then maybe not for you, but if I wiggle my face, then it literally feels like they've just been glued to my forehead, which I'm a big fan of. So now we're gonna move on to lips. I have a lip liner, and I also have two of the Velvet Matte lipstick crayon things. I have one in the shade Ballerina, and one in the shade Mushroom. We'll just, we'll just see where we go with this. Okay, so first of all, going in with the Toffee lip liner, this one. Oh, that's quite a brown shade. I thought this was going to be more of a nude, so pretty interested in this. That's a really unique colour. Loving this so far. And this was, I think this was just a quid. Maybe £1.50, definitely no more than £2. Okay, so this lip liner in Toffee, 
that is such a nice shade. I thought this was gonna be nude. It's like a brownie, almost like terracotta lip. So now we have the two velvet matte lipstick crayons. They literally are, has this one been used or? No, it can't have been. So they literally are just crayon situations. I'll just show you guys this color here, which is ballerina. That is nice. That reminds me of a nude sticks that I have. This one is mushroom. To be fair, not too different in color. I don't think they'll actually go with what I'm wearing right now. But I want to try some on my lips. So I'm just going to quickly take what I've got on right now, chuck one of these bad boys on. Oh, they smell like vanilla. They're very pigmented. Okay, so this is actually a lot more grey tone than I thought. I'm feeling that. I think I'm just going to show you guys what they look like on their own. These actually feel very, very creamy on the lips. Like, yeah, they feel really nice. They kind of actually feel like MAC lipsticks. So this is the shade Mushroom. Actually a really nice grey toned look. Not sure it's doing much for my teeth, but let's face it, I don't smile that much anyway. I'm a grumpy person. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I prefer the other colour with this general look, but 100% going to be using this again. That's like a really unique shade that I don't think I actually have, which says a lot because I have more lipsticks than scents. And then we'll move on to Ballerina, which is the more pink one. So this is the shade Ballerina, and let me know your thoughts, but I am honestly obsessed with these crayons. They go on so nicely. They're actually really easy to apply, and they feel like they are just foolproof basically like when I'm putting them on they're super super quick and the application has gone on really really nicely I haven't gone outside the lines or anything like that and I love this color it's like super nudie kind of like a pink tone but also a nude tone but yeah really really in love with all these lip products and now to end the video I'm gonna chuck that lip liner back on because I am obsessed so this is the overall finished look and I've got to say big thumbs up for Primark makeup this time around I know there are a few duds in my last video but for the new releases, I know they've brought out like a pro collection and everything like that. They don't have that in my local Primark. But for the newer, just standard releases, honestly, massive, massive thumbs up. They've really upped their game. Love that they brought out a contour kit. Love that they're doing the whole matte lipstick thing. Let me know what you think of this overall makeup look. And if you have any Primark products that you think I really, really need to try it, then let me know. They do so many products. So if you want me to do another video like this, then let me know in the comments section down below. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. And subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I'm posting every single day in the lead up to Christmas. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.